Hello, my name is Teresa Wynn. I'm a program manager in Azure Compute. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to deploy JBoss EAP on Azure VMSS, also known as Virtual Machine Scale Set. We'll be using the Azure Quick Start template to demonstrate this feature. In this Azure Quick Start template page, type in JBoss in the search field. Your tiles will show up. In this case, we'll use JBoss EAP on RHEL. It's going to be running as a cluster configuration on VMSS. Once you've selected your template, you have a choice to deploy it directly to Azure by clicking on the left button, where it will take you to the Azure portal, or you can browse GitHub. If you browse GitHub, you'll see in the README file here, it'll cover everything from solution overview to architecture costs and all the parameters necessary to spin up your instance and also to validate your deployment. Now that we're in the Azure portal, you see here it's all the necessary parameter in order to instantiate your Virtual Machine scale set with JBoss EAP and RHEL already installed and pre-configured. Before we get started, let's take a look at the Red Hat account. If you're an existing customer, log in here. This is where you, your credential, it's also known as your pool ID. This is for EAP and RHEL. If you're new to Red Hat or JBoss, click on the Register Now button and create a new account. So now we're in the Azure portal. Let's get started by setting your subscription ID and your resource group. You can use an existing one or create a new one by clicking on Create New and typing your new name. Now let's set your region. In this case, we'll set West US 2. I want to point out that if you want to set up a jump box to validate your deployment, make sure it's in the same region as your uh, VMSS scale set. Next, we'll enter in the admin username and password. This is how you would access your RHEL VM. For authentication type, you have a choice between password and SSH public key. For this demo, we'll use password. Next, we will enter in the EAP RHEL version. You have a choice here between EAP 7.2 and 7.3. For RHEL, you have a choice of 7.7, 8.0. You can mix and match, so pick the best combination for your deployment. The next parameter, we'll look at the JBoss EAP username and password. This is how you access your JBoss server admin console. For your RHEL OS license type, you have a choice between pay go or BYOS. pay go is metered and BYOS is bringing your subscription and this is the best choice for existing JBoss customer who wants to bring their on-premise subscription to Azure. Next, you want to set your RHSM username and password. This is the same username and password you would log into your Red Hat account. Stepping back a little bit, let's take a look at the RHEL OS license type. If you're a pay-as-you-go, you would only have to enter in your RHSM pool ID for EAP. Since EAP is only offered as a BYOS SKU on Azure, if you select BYOS for your OS, you would have to end your EAP pool ID as well as your RHEL pool ID. Next, you want to set your session replication strategy by clicking down the drop down menu on the right. In here, you have a choice of uh, your storage replication. Pick the one that best suits you. Then you want to name your virtual machine scale set. This is the name for your cluster. The instant count is the number of VMs you want to start with in your VMSS scale set. And then next, you want to set your VM size. You have a choice of nine different uh, VMs here. If you're happy with all your selection, click Review and Create. Once all your parameters has been validated, you'll get a green bar on the top. Then you can click on Create button on the bottom left. Your deployment's in progress. You can see here all your resources being provisioned. Once it's finished, you see that your status will change to your deployment is complete. You can click on the output where it will take you to your app URL. You can copy and paste that into your browser and test out your sample app. If you want to take a resource group, you can see your VMSS uh, scale set has been provisioned along with your load balancer, storage account, and your VNet. If you want to take a look at your instances, you can click on the VMSS. Click on the instance on the left-hand side, you'll see the three VMs that you provision are up and running. 
Here's the best part about VMSS. You can set your scaling up to 1,000 VMs by doing a manual scale or a custom auto scale. For manual scaling, you can set your digit or you can grab the sliding scale to scale up or down your scale set. If you want to do custom auto scale, this is how you would uh, select that. Uh, this will allow you to set uh, scale-based metrics. You can also set your default value, your min, and your max value. Now that your deployment is up and ready, let's validate your deployment by going to the admin console. Put your public URL in the browser. This page will show up. You want to click on the admin console. In this case, it will go to port 9000. And in here, you see your deployment. You can click on the deployments there, where your application will be stored. In here, you see there's a sample EAP session replication application in the context route. You can click on the hyperlink. All right, we successfully deployed a JBoss EAP VMSS cluster on RHEL. So let's take a look at the sample application and test it out. So in the bottom here, you'll notice there's two buttons, incremental counter and refresh. Every time you click that, the value attribute will increase. That's how you know that your application is working. On the top here is your session ID. And at the bottom here is your VM IP address. The uh, clustering logic that JBoss uses failover. So while you're clicking incremental counter or refresh, you'll notice that your VM uh, will stay the same, but however, if one of your VM crashes, you'll notice that this VM would change, but then your session ID will still stay the same. That's how you know that your clustering and failover is working. Thank you for checking out this demo. I hope this experience to show you how easy it is to deploy Red Hat JBoss EAP on Azure VMSS.